Hello everyone and welcome to The Light. Reports say the US Space Agency has reached the sort of speeds in space that are only heard about on science fiction movies. NASA is thought to have successfully tested a revolutionary power source. The so-called hyperdrive could enable a spacecraft to travel to the neighboring red planet in just two or three weeks instead of seven months. The futuristic device would be compact enough to fit into a suitcase and keep flying for eons at a shocking 450 million miles an hour. The electromagnetic drive was originally invented by a British scientist nearly a decade ago. It works by converting electric power from solar panels into forward thrust. Airport facilities that have cutting-edge technologies make a public appearance at the 15th Dubai Airport Show. The show has attracted over 300 exhibitors from more than 40 countries and regions. The expo has displayed advanced equipment, systems and solutions which can provide more practical services to travellers. A smart e-gate displayed at the show helps commuters get their clearances to enter or exit a country more quickly by identifying the passport information. A new water treatment and recycling system uses bacteria colonies uh, which have been cultivated for more than 10 years to purify sewage. The role of this bacteria is to get uh and eat up all kinds of, uh, of contaminants. We have about 120 strains of microbial bacteria which can deal with a lot of contaminants. Well, there's been panic on the streets uh, in the British county of Surrey and the drama has been caused by a plague of bees. The insects were so many that they even turned the sky black for a short time. The large group of bees emerged out of nowhere, causing people to flee indoors to safety. Meanwhile, cars stopped in uh, the road to view the unlikely phenomenon that brought the area to a standstill for about 15 minutes. Such an anomaly, anomaly can occur during springtime when the queen bee leaves with other worker bees to find a new home. The Moscow Metro in Russia has unveiled a rather strange looking train to celebrate the 80th anniversary of the network's operation. The design and decoration of the new train highlights the history and development of Moscow's underground railway system over the past eight decades. Each of the train's individually colored eight carriages represents 10 years of its history. Senior workers who made a lot of contributions to the development of the system were invited to be the first passengers to hitch a ride on the special train. The city's metro system currently has 12 lines with nearly 200 stations. South Korea is hosting a huge international food exhibition. The Seoul Food Expo has attracted food producers and businessmen from over 40 countries. And as Press TV's Frank Smith explains in the following report, the event provides a good opportunity for young chefs to showcase their skills in front of international audience. Here's more. A big food exhibition has been held in South Korea. Seoul Food 2015 welcomed 1,500 exhibitors from 44 countries to make business contacts in the food restaurant, hotel and food production sectors. The exhibition here is broken down into two pavilions, one focusing on exporting South Korean foods and an international hall full of companies seeking to explore domestic sales. Global food exporters now recognize the value of the South Korean market as people here develop a taste for international cuisines. The exhibition included food technologies, ingredients and beverages. Uh, we've got uh, probably hundreds of leads of loads of people being interested in trying our products and willing to distribute our products. We are very satisfied, highly satisfied. The exhibition featured the culinary challenge where aspiring chefs test their skills against each other with globally renowned chefs judging their creations. Compete but also learning to compete and learning for the others, which is what competition is all about. Medals is fantastic but the learning experience being able to adapt and create something different, that's what it's all about. 
competition involves several food categories. Salmon proved difficult to prepare with temperature a primary concern. Shinji Wung hopes to open a restaurant. I think there's more tension when I'm cooking in competitions than when I'm practicing. And I thought the grading would be similar to getting a certificate with one judge. But there were several judges off my dish, which actually made me less nervous in some ways. The young chefs also found working with different equipment a bit awkward, although judges admired their presentation, hoping the event will boost interest in their products. Frank Smith, Press TV, Seoul. Well, that's it for the light, but stay tuned. Wahar is back with News on Brief. Bye-bye for now.